Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today is the day that I finally can make my build update. It's nothing crazy, let's be real. It's nothing crazy, nothing very special. I think every single bowman have almost same build or very familiar. So let's go piece by piece. So first of all, simple like that, is going a gear from MDVP for critical strike, 10% critical strike. Very nice, very nice. Armor is going for critical severity. It gives you shit ton of crit severity, so why the hell not? I, I sometimes I'm still trying to use Maiden, but it's a little bit problematic because we need much more stats with Maiden because Maiden don't give you any prots and just give you damage. Arms, it's it. I using different arms almost the depend of content, but most of the time I'm using Abyss Conqueror healing mids for crit strike and forty, well, like three percent. Why the hell not? But of course, sometimes I'm going for power. Like example, if I need, if I can find, if I'm doing some personal stuff, I'm going for power. Or if I just wanna, I just go for for daily next wear strike from encounter power will do 7.5 more damage, which is don't have cooldown. So why, why the hell not? That points is mirage because mirage is still best in slot. Of course, after we will nerf or fix, I suppose to say mirage, I will go off stormwood, stormforge, or AOE and perfect perfect weapons for a single target because uh, at the moment Stormforge is bugged it's in, and it gives you 20% more damage which is a little bit crazy or something like that. Boots is simple for combat advantage when I'm close to enemy because we all love combat advantage. Uh, artifact is going sh Shomwood artifact set just for accuracy and recharge speed. And another piece is give you dexterity and charisma. I I'm taking dexterity charisma because I just like charisma. You know, I like to be charismatic. Uh -huh. Rings for combat advantage, but is really depend on what healer or tank you have. If somebody have Tutor or Portabello, uh, I can change for critical strike if I wanna. Or I can go for, where is my ring? For my Emerald to get this 2.5 plus and more. more damage because of both ring bonuses as you can see your powers deal 2.5 percent more damage when you are 25 or closer to your target very nice very nice shirts is going for combat advantage because yeah five percent combat advantage just sounds very nice so why the hell not and yeah my item level is still not max i'm i'm not sure i will i want to go on max it's still doing damage yes maybe not best in slow damage but good enough good enough and sh panties is going for more recharge speed because why the hell not like five plus in recharge speed yeah give it to me enchantments of course i will go for all eight garnets or probably because this six ones is not mine uh, yeah my friend just borrowed me so in future i will go for all garnets garnets will be for more defense in defense slot and for a little bit more power in offensive slot Misty Garnet in Utility to get some Forte, like why the hell not? Of course, Lightning Flash because it's still best in slot. And Mystical Recharge Bonus, thank you Untold for helping me to upgrade this from my Epic Recharge to Mystic, I like you. Untold, thank you. Artifact, I'm use I having two Artifacts, of course, if you DPS for single target, Soul Crystal is just best in slot. Because it gives you a lot of damage on single target. And I have another 1500 item level I afford them. So I need like only one more artifact with high item level. And some offensive stats. But this will, do, this will be in future. It's no big deal. An attribute of course strength and dexterity. And of course keep in mind you need your devil precision for critical strike and accuracy. That's a very nice one. Sadly he's a little bit expensive. But it's worth it, I guess. Powers. I know some people playing with Slash at Mark. I'm just really don't like Slash at Mark because I like just spam my disruptive shot and yeah, probably I'm losing a lot of damage, but it's okay. You can choose literally Slash at Mark to get this 10% more damage for 15 seconds, but I just don't like to recharge my action points and eh, I don't like it. 
boons of course boons will change soon in future so it's, it doesn't matter we all know about boons power all offensive slots we all know that okay i i don't need to explain nothing uh, guild boons of course it's what you want or you want some more critical severity maybe you need some critical strike it's well you just can choose whatever you want to choose you know it's not a big deal companions for single target i'm using green scale bowman he's still one of the best in slot companion and for Aoi, of course i'm using my regist which is still legendary but he's doing very nice Aoi damage it's just too much nice of course he's a little bit expensive but it's worth it and of course i'm using accuracy combat advantage uh, accuracy critical strike and combat advantage critical severity plus mystic companion enchantments Acute sense on purpur slot because I still need sometimes some more combat advantage, but like I say, it depend on what we have on healer and tank. If we have tutor, if one of them have tutor or portobello, I can take go for more critical strike or more accuracy, which is very nice. Of course, Batiri, Neverwinter Knight, Webiger VR, Raptor Instinct, and Golden Cat. I think that's for the PSers or let's say for Bowman, that's best in slot companions in each slot let's move on to amount power i'm using bixby hand because i don't have this bugged uh, i don't i wicked lich whatever it's called i don't have that mount so i'm using bixby hand and reason why i'm using it because it's uh your strength your psychical damage psychical damage bonus this one damage boost is increasing a little bit your bixby mount damage and toad power like example is going a little bit more magical damage counted as magical damage so bixby hand can it's very same basically but it's just a little bit better than toad so it's no big deal and dominant force of course is deepened if i don't need power i can go for ferocity or another mount power which i like if i need stat i can go for more stats but i'm just using for power just why the hell not and the insignia colors encounter color the char speed color sometimes i'm changing i'm using if i need critical severity or if i need ap gain is depend on situation and movement speed stamina gain and astral diamonds uh, with these two is literally trashes most of my insignia is brutality oh, accuracy secret strike because i i really like this critical strike with severity combination so I'm using a lot of skills, aggressions, aggression, skill, aggression, brutality. So it's a lot of different. Mostly I'm using just for mount powers because I'm using two assassin covenant, two execution covenant, and one combat maneuver, which is giving me 2500 combat advantage for 10 seconds. So it's basically forever because I can always apply my roots. So that's a very nice one and that's probably it that's my squishy bowman power build of course i i need to mention spider totem he gives you 2.5 percent combat advantage and one percent damage against draws and you can get some critical strike or stamina or critical strike stamina or accuracy action points or power recharge speed so it's very deep end but it's uh, at this moment for dps class is one of the best in the slot yoink and what do we get we get combat advantage and damage accuracy and action point gain it's for 30 minutes and of course i need to speak about food it will be sun lord gift elixir for combat advantage 5 percent combat advantage Squish soup for 5% crit strike and 5% crit severity. And of course, flash of potency rank 3 plus 1 for 5% more crit severity. If you don't need combat advantage, you can use always Wildstorm Elixir for 5% critical severity. So basically, in combat, of course, I'm, I will be alone. No Tuto, no, no Portobello. So let's just charge everything, get our stackies. 9 stacks, 10 stacks. Basically, 84 critical strike, maximum combat advantage, and maximum 
Critical severity. And accuracy staying on 82. So yeah, it's, it's deep in power. Of course, power is slow because I'm, I'm not in party and I don't have raptors. So. And it's mostly like single target build. If I'm going, like example, AoE target, I'm changing my battery for more power or insta more critical strike. It's dependent on situation. Maybe it's not best in slot build, but this build one this build doing damage. If you're not dying, of course. Because sometimes you just die and yeah, that's that's wrecked. So boys and girls, thank you for watching and see ya next time. If you have any question, just PM me or comment. Thank you for watching and see ya next time. Baby is out. Bye bye.